hello everyone welcome to it simplified and in today's video in azure tips and tricks i'm here to talk about load balancing options so as we all know that uh, cloud is very complex and uh, if you have within cloud for the same functionality you have multiple options it can get uh, overwhelming and i think same thing applies for the load balancing options that's why i thought that i will do a quick video without getting much into the detail so that you are at least aware of what are the different options available so let's look into that uh, uh, what are the different options available from the load balancing point of view when it comes to uh, azure so the three options that i'm going to talk about is the load balancer that's the name of the product that they have uh, the second option is a traffic manager and then the third option they have is the application gateway So the important thing to know, note about taking load balancer uh, first is that it's a, a layer four load balancer. And when I say layer four, it means that it works at the transport layer. So the only thing that it's concerned about is the source and the destination IP and the ports it's gonna work with. Uh, so at the transport layer this load balancer work and uh, Another important thing about this is that it can be used to apply both for the internal resources as well as the web facing resources such as web servers and those kind of stuff and This load balancer comes in two flavors it comes in uh, basic which is a free option and then it comes also with the standard which is a paid option and obviously there is a difference between the two uh, from how many instances you can have in the backend pools versus the high availability that you can deploy within the availability zones and uh, those kind of stuff but uh, the basic is free and then standard is got a paid version but the important thing is that it works at the transport layer which is the layer 4 of the OSI model and that's the first option when it comes to uh, load balancing within, within Azure the second option that a is available is the traffic manager and this works at the DNS level so like the first option I talked about it cannot be applied for the internal uh, uh, workloads only the web facing so say for example if you have a web server uh, it, you can apply a traffic manager in front of that which works at the DNS level and then you have four options like you can route the traffic based on uh, round robin uh, the traffic if you want to divert the traffic based on the geographical location performance so these are the four options that they are there within uh, a traffic manager that you can uh, configure but the important thing is that it's only for uh, public facing IP addresses or public facing services such as web servers and it works at the DNS level uh, and that is the second option within the load balancing option that you can choose from and the third option is the application uh, gateway load balancer and this works at the layer 7 of uh, the OSI model which is the application and as compared to the first one uh, because it works at the application you can go to a more granular level the way you want to control the traffic so you can go at the url level so say for example if the url wants that or the user wants to access say a video in the backend pool you can have uh, uh, configured that way that uh, the, that that kind of uh, request goes to that pool and if you want uh, some other requests you can you can dedicate those resources in the backend pool but the important thing is that it works at the layer 7 which is the application uh, layer uh, in the OSI model which is the application gateway so organization which is concerned more about the security and compliance they can go with the application gateway because it has also uh, 
a feature what you call WAF which is a short form for web application firewall so when you configuring application gateway you can configure that and uh, as I said that a company which are more concerned about the security uh, they're more concerned about the compliance you can go at more granular level and you can use that functionality within uh, within the application gateway and it comes in uh, two tier you can uh, either use uh, I think the name for that one is uh, uh, basic and standard uh, and uh, I think the standard comes with a uh, with a WAF, the web application uh, firewall uh, functionality. But the common thing is that uh, all these three options, these are some kind of load balancer. So depending upon what your environment are, you might want to choose one or the other. But it is not uh, uncommon to have a mix of uh, uh, all these uh, options. You can either have a load balancer for maybe a SQL Server. Uh, backend pool or you can also have a traffic manager within the within the same infrastructure for for the for the web uh, interface uh, or the web server or even if you want to go to more granular level you want to secure your infrastructure you can also go with the application gateway and uh, you can route the traffic uh, accordingly but these are three options available when we talked about the load balancing within within Azure and uh, uh, the pricing depends upon what option you choose from, uh, which you can check at the pricing calculator within 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 Azure. I hope you found this video useful on the load balancing option within Azure. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.